Alright guys, TouchGrow back again today, I hope you enjoyed your day so far, and today is December the 15th, tomorrow being the 16th, that being when Season 1 launches in Call of Duty Black Ops Card War. The patch, at least the weapon updates, have pretty much been rolled out into the game right now, and a number of the pros thinking that the FFAR is back. Major weapon change is going to be coming over the next few days here, the 74U in question, the Krig in question, other weapon balancing updates may continue to happen, but the FFAR seems to have been buffed back to not necessarily quite a pre-nerf state, but definitely to the point where it can still be viable on the professional level and Parasite and well Dashi certainly think it may be back at that point. In Twitter your thoughts in the comment section below on this one. Like if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you are new as always I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Thank you very much indeed for doing that. This I thought was pretty cool from the Dallas Empire yesterday they came out with well the throne has actually been created right now as they land in there. The chopper right here. The championship weekend throne all the guys sitting on it and there's a funny well picture Porter in it in a couple of seconds here that a lot of the guys were tweeting out so yeah pretty impressive. The CDL sort them out with the throne and so yeah i wonder whether next year the the winner gets a new throne whether they get the old throne i imagine they everyone keeps the throne but um yeah pretty remarkable the stuff and pretty cool to see it was the empire right you're ruling over the empire and you know sitting on your throne that kind of stuff kind of works quite well with their brand and clayson though wasn't maybe too happy about this immediately he says lol because i mean he wasn't in the video it was hastro there illy was in canada so he wasn't in the video either and so rambo ray as well but uh, look as hastro says look we don't own your rights anymore dude you're on another team who has the legal rights to all your likeness and stuff like that um, you know, we know you love you though. You're welcome to swing by and see us at any time. I 100% need to come by the thread to take some pictures. Let me know. Lots of changes went down there. Miss you, brother. And good luck. Have fun. So, um, yeah, certainly going to be a nice rivalry to see next season where the Clay can get his own back on the, on the uh, Dallas Empire to show that they made the wrong decision by keeping Crim6 over him. But, uh, yeah, I thought this was kind of entertaining. This was also that image I mentioned of Crim6 right here. So he's uh, holding the trophy up, uh, like as if it's a weapon right here, like sitting on the throne with a heli in the background. So, yeah, I just thought this was a uh, pretty damn cool to see. Let's move on to things then. Treyarch announced yesterday our new Black Ops Card War update goes live, well it already has done, included in this update. Weapon tuning for multiple classes including tactical rifles, seems like the org has been nerfed, perk tuning, multiplayer mode updates, spawn improvements, apparently even though Crim6 was doing some tweets about how the spawns on a crossroads are still kind of questionable, I think they maybe they even changed the P4 hill back to where it was or made some other changes to that. PC stability updates which could be scan and repair, who really knows, maybe not but we'll see. And this is what Drifter seems to think are kind of the unofficial patch notes. So Org Minor Damage Nerf, M60 ADS Time Reduction, Gallo Fire Rate Nerf, FFAR Range Buff, Milano 821. I thought like when I heard initially about this, there was going to be a lot more changes than just this. There may be more on the way, but the FFAR Range Buff and potentially Recoil Reduction, who really knows, is something which people are keeping their eyes on. And with the range maybe back to where it was, a lot of pros are thinking, okay, maybe I can manage the recoil if, um, well, if this is going to be the case right here. So yes, a number of pros thinking it. The FFAR could be back in business. And as Dashi says, FFAR is back. Slack comes out with the cap saying, okay, no, it's not actually back. It's not actually as good as you think it is. But Parasite says, look, it's not cap. It is not. Saying it actually is as good as he thinks it is. And I did this tweet a couple of days ago, which seems to have aged relatively well if it has come back. You know, telling Tony Flay, revive the FFAR. Maybe they have indeed done so. And as Parasite says right here, FFAR is back. Sharing this clip of him just playing eight, I suppose, with it. With the range of the inventory compensator, radar stock, field agent grip, and the, uh, the airborne elastic wrap of course that enables you to drop shots with the diamond camo on it in all its glory and so yeah well Haggy putting in some absolute work with the FFAR just now seeing if it actually is viable once again the nice thing about the FFAR really is that the iron sights are just so so clean you don't have to use a red dot on it or anything and um, yeah it just means you can use and stack up on all the other attachments and stuff like that but yeah kind of interesting to see the FFAR may be back in business but what other changes may be on the horizon because of course the weapon patch update seems to kind of have dropped but the actual content for the game is going to be coming in a couple of days time and Raid is going to be in the game this new map Maul is going to be the game potentially some other new maps as well I think a lot of the pros are thinking right now it would be nice if we get to a position where we can actually use a lot of new maps in the competitive rotation Raid I'm 99% sure is going to be there this Maul one as well I think is very promising so well when that comes out we'll talk about it on the channel and some of the implications from having that in competitive play as well I think even Apathy replied to this that thing is so good wow the FFAR may be back in business intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below though do you think this is 
is actually the correct move from Treyarch and the guys to actually make this update in the game to bring the FFAR back to a usable state. Maybe it's not quite back to as much of a usable state as it was before, but right now the SMGs are in kind of a precarious position. The 74U is certainly very good, but there was also some, uh, well, rumours that might potentially get nerfed. Surplus points this out to me of Hex. It's a very brief clip. I'm not going to share it on screen, but it's like 10 seconds. Hex effectively says he said there might be a 74U nerf incoming, which, um, yeah, what would that mean, right? If the 74 got you got nerfed, would the MP5 get any better? Obviously, the other SMGs seem to have got kind of buffed as well, as Drifter was saying, with the KSP range buff, the Milano range buff. Could any of these be viable? I'm not really sure. They could be, quite honestly. And with the FFAR potentially getting back to where it was, maybe the Krig gets nerfed somewhat. The AK-47 is still there and thereabouts. We may even have more of an assault rifle dominated meta than we do right now. Right? The AR seemed to be the way to go. Certainly pre-FFAR nerf, the ARs were certainly the way to go. Where the, well, certainly the weapon that was dominating the first couple of weeks of the game. Then things got changed. The Krig came into effect. The AK-74 came into effect. I would really love to see a meta where the Krig is maybe like your main assault rifle, your guy who stands all the way at the back of the map. He's chilling far back. Then you've got an FFAR who's like a flex type player and uh, maybe they can even use the XM4 as well because some pros or some amateurs especially have been using the XM4 to some great effect and thinking that weapon actually is pretty damn good. So maybe an XM4 slash an FFAR could be your flex weapon. Then you have two SMGs, maybe one AK-74U is your kind of secondary SMG, and then an MP5 is your, like, entry SMG, if everything was balanced perfectly well. But I certainly think a lot of different weapons could be viable in this game. My concern right now is maybe uh, maybe the assault rifles are slightly too strong compared to some of the other weapons that we do have in the game. Wanted to talk about this as well. So yesterday, the European amateur teams decided that they're actually going to GA the smokes as well. So in the North American region a few days ago, they just decided to get rid of smokes in their entirety. Right now, they are honestly kind of dodgy. The fact you can just throw it at your feet pretty much and you can see through it almost like a one way the other guy can't see you it lasts for ages it removes all your aim assist it's um, well not something particularly fun to play with or against and the European guys have finally decided it's time to get that on the gentleman's agreement list and smokes effectively are completely gone it definitely raises the question to me and exactly what's going on with the sniper rifles right because if anything smokes are kind of a counter to the sniper rifles being very strong snipers are super good in this game and so well smokes can be a way to kind of deal with that if smokes aren't allowed are the snipers now too strong? Are you only going to be allowed to have one? Are you going to GA snipers in their entirety because they're just too good? Who really knows, right? It's certainly a question that you could be asking, but as Seafrag says, look, I voted to keep them. But so, yeah, apparently 12 to 1 in favor of getting rid of smokes from competitive play. You know, we should keep them in. It will be a pre aim granddad fest coming from the king, pre aim himself, that being Dereal. And also, this came out yesterday, which I thought was pretty remarkable here on Moscow. So, yeah, I'll just put this on the full screen. This guy throws a smoke down, the other guy threw a smoke down as well, and maybe something to do with the graphic settings I'm not really sure but um clearly the smokes just don't render on his perspective and therefore he can just completely see these guys you can see as he's shooting he's not getting aim assist so certainly the smoke is still there on someone's screen but um yeah not there on his screen and you can just completely see through the smokes and as you can see in this final kill cam right here these guys drop their smokes and well it's completely smoked up on their screen like what's going on this is the perspective of the guys that he just killed and um well they can see smokes on their perspective but for him everything is completely clear and uh, well he can just shoot right through it without a care in the world. Not exactly sure how he was able to replicate this. Cliffy is suggesting maybe lower settings. This is always a thing in Counter-Strike where you could somehow get some sort of settings advantage, especially on like Molotovs and stuff like that, to see through them more easily. And uh, well, he has the zipper face emoji, doesn't want to tell anyone exactly how this can potentially be done. But I can certainly see the justification for GAing smokes and getting them out of the game, especially with something like this potentially in the game. And um, yeah, who knows, right? If you're playing a team, how do you know if they're not abusing this somehow and have figured out how to abuse this bug where they can make the smokes completely appear invisible for them maybe it is some sort of graphic setting or something or um, you know, just got kind of lucky with the locations of the smoke on this particular map that sometimes it disappears all in this particular location who really knows i'm not sure how this is happening but yeah i thought i'd bring it to your guys attention with the hope that maybe uh well track and the guys will do a decent job trying to fix this one out also just wanted to mention this from spart he's now a free agent a few days ago talking about how he you know wants to get back in the pro league wanted to prove these guys wrong now looking like a free agent in that flex role for the upcoming a well, couple of events. I don't think he's signed anywhere, so he should be in these challenges combine matches over the next couple of days. Now, well, what does a flex mean exactly right now? What weapon is that going to be? Could it be an FFAR, as we talked about earlier in the video? Just wanted to finish off with this clip as well from Crimson. We talked about the spawns right at the back of the map. Yeah, him having a difficult time here on Crossroad Strike in um, in an eights match, but yeah, they do manage to get the job done in the very end. Intrigued to hear your thoughts and all this stuff in the comment section. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, I'd greatly appreciate a like on the video. Really helps out the YouTube algorithm. I know you enjoyed. 
this content. Other people like you may enjoy this content as well, and I'll grow the competitive Call of Duty community. Thank you for watching as always, take care, and I will see you next time. Oh, they're in the back. He's no one held the back. One stop control then. Ah, uh, spawner. Got the guy in the middle, he's still in the back, silly. Never kill him. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh my god. Two top, two top, two top, <laughs> top, top, top weak, top weak, top room weak. Slater, Slater. Nice, I, I just spawned out, still teacher spawning on you, I think. What the f? What's going on, bro? Dude, I, I'm gonna lose. Yeah, close. That one. Another one close on y'all. I'm all in the back. I can try to get down. Top cat. Top it cat. could be late. God, I spawned right in front of him. Still top cat, it's holding an angle. Yo, slack doing lake, slack doing lake. One's gonna be late cop. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, in the back! Keep back, keep back, and pet top. Keep back on me. Bro! Oh, what the f? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god.